Hi, this is Charlie Calvert, and I'm going to give you a brief explanation of how to work with solution files that contain multiple projects. So let's go to our sample solution, and we'll go ahead and open it up. And it's called Sample Test, and we're going to go ahead and open it up. And inside of this solution, you'll see that there are four different projects, one called Problem 1, one called Problem 2, and one called Problem 3. Notice that right now Problem 1 is highlighted. This means that when you press the Run button, Problem 1 will run. If you right-click here and choose Set as Startup Project from the menu, then Problem 2 becomes the highlighted project, in which case when you press the Run button, Project 2 will run. And so on, you can go down and set any of them as a startup project and go ahead and choose that to be the project that will run. You can edit any of the projects at any time, and if you choose Build, it'll rebuild. You can choose Build or Rebuild the entire solution, which means that you can rebuild everything in the solution, all three projects at once, or you could choose to build one of the projects at a time. As a rule, if one of the projects does not compile, you'll find that you can't rebuild the entire solution, so it's best to make sure that everything can stay compiling at any one time. If you get desperate and want to move one of the projects out of the solution, you can right-click here and then choose Remove. Okay, And if you choose Remove from the menu, then that project, Problem 1, will be removed and it's no longer a member of this particular solution. If you want to bring it back in, go to the Solution file and choose Add. <coughs> Let me make this a little easier for you to read. Come over here to the solution file and choose Add and choose Existing Project. And you can go out here and choose the one that you want to add back into the, uh, into the project. You go out and you browse for the csproj file because you don't want to grab a solution file now. You want to add a project file into your existing solution. So you choose Open and now you can see Project 1 is once again a member of our uh, solution here. So you're able to take projects in or out if need be while you're working. Um, to start editing the members of any one project, you simply open them up and, and do them. Now this particular solution, each project in this particular solution has a readme file associated with it. And this is totally optional, you don't have to have it, but it's some kind of sometimes nice to provide a readme file um, where you can uh, describe what goes on in any one project. So it's kind of an overview of the project itself. And if you click on it, you'll see that you get HTML by default. This is simply the way the Visual Studio editor works. And if you click over to design mode, you can see the um, code and you know in a more readable format or you can right click in the Solution Explorer and choose view in browser and that file will come up in the browser and you can view it uh, read a description of the program you're currently working on maybe you could keep notes in there about what needs to be done with the project where to go with the project and so on um, so you'll notice that each of these projects has a readme file that you can open so you can um, see each of them and study them and learn a little bit about what any one particular project is about. Okay. Finally, as long as you're not in Visual Studio Express, there'll be an item called Solution Items up here. And here you're able to place an HTML file that might be a global file that you can use for talking about all of the projects inside this particular solution. So you could write here overview of the entire solution including projects 1, 2, and 3 and keep it in this file. If you are in uh, Express, they just don't support solution items. You can still open up the, the solution fine, but you'll get a little message saying um, the solution items folder will not be visible, will not be active. If that's the case, um, then you might need to do some browsing. And what you could do is bring up an instance of the <coughs> Windows Explorer 
and then you could go to the directory that you wanted to work with. Now here's the solution. Here's our main solution file and here's the contents of that folder. Here's that HTML file that you might have wanted to view but which um, was not available to you from inside the IDE. So you can view it this way by going to the Windows Explorer and that way you can see that file. But of course most of the time you will have access to, uh, to um, Pro or some other version of Visual Studio and you won't have to worry about this problem. So that's all I wanted to explain about um, solutions. If you wanted to add a new solution of your own to the project, you can always just come over here to the Solution Explorer and choose Add New Project. And you could call this one Problem 4 and you go ahead and do that and now you can see that there's a new project in here called Problem 4 if you needed to add a new one. Or if you get tired of looking at it in there, you can simply say Remove and it will be removed from the project. Save changes up to you whether you want to save them or not. So there you go. That's all I wanted to say about Solution Explorer to give you some sense of how to work with solutions that contain multiple projects. Thank you.